My best friend Tina's nonna would make the best bolognese. She was from Calabria, which means she used a lot of chilli in her cooking. So I'm going to make a recipe that she taught me when I was much younger. This is a Calabrian style lasagna using sausages in the bolognese or the meat sauce. Now we need to start by chopping our onions and garlic. I'm just going to use the Cuisine Companion to do it all for me. I'm also going to add a generous amount of chilli flakes and I'll chop this quite finely. Fabulous. Okay, now that the onions are chopped, I'm just going to change over the blade and I'll add some salt and a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And now I'm going to cook this for about five minutes to soften the onions. Then I can add the meat and cook that. Now I'm using two different varieties of meat for this recipe, just the good old classic beef mince and also the sausages. These Italian sausages have fennel throughout them, a good amount of fat so it's going to stay really moist and flavoursome. I've also taken the casing off so I'm going to crumble it so it's going to mix nicely with our mince when I add it next. Okay, this meat has browned off nicely. It smells delicious. So now we can start adding the tomatoes. I like to use one can of crushed tomatoes just so we've got texture throughout the sauce. And then some puree, so 700 grams of passata. We'll pour that in so it's really saucy and we've got a good amount of sauce for our lasagna. Now I'll just mix that through just to make sure that the sauce is evenly distributed. And for some herbs, you can use whatever herbs you like. Parsley, oregano works nicely. I'm going to keep it classic with some basil. And I'll add most of these leaves now so it flavours the sauce throughout the cooking process. And then I'll just reserve a few of these leaves for later just to freshen it up. So we'll mix that again. Perfect. Pop the lid on. And now this is going to slow cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. In the last 20 minutes, I'll add this beautiful shredded kale. Now, I'm doing it in the Cuisine Companion, but of course you can do this in a slow cooker. You can even do this in a pressure cooker or just the classic way on the stovetop. The meat sauce is completely cooked. I've placed it in a bowl just to cool down a little bit. Now the polenta is going to act as the lasagna sheets for this polenta lasagna. So we need about 400 grams. Now I've attached a whisk and I've boiled some water and now we need to rein in the polenta. And you can do this in a pot so you'll just do it in exactly the same way but you'll have to manually whisk it. This is going to do it for me. I'll also add a good pinch of salt with polenta. It needs salt so you can taste the flavour of it or it can be a little bit bland. Now the lid can go on and this will cook for about half an hour. The beautiful thing about this is it's going to be constantly whipped so it's going to be really glossy and smooth by the time it's finished. So 80 degrees, 30 minutes. Okay, this polenta is cooked. Now I'm going to add some extra flavours to it. So I'll add some parmesan and a little bit of butter. Oh, have a look at that. See how perfectly whipped that is? It's doubled in size. Oh, I love polenta. And we'll add that butter, two knobs of butter and a handful of parmesan. I don't want this polenta to be too soupy or too wet because it needs to hold up and firm up a little bit when it's cooking with the meat sauce. So you want it to be almost like porridge consistency or a little bit thicker than porridge. Now I'm just gently folding through that parmesan and that butter and now we can start assembling our polenta lasagna. Just with a wooden spoon, I'm going to add about a third of this mixture to the bottom. See how thick that polenta is? That's perfect for this type of lasagna. Spread it all the way to the sides in a nice even layer. And now we'll start layering this with some meat sauce. So large spoon and then we'll add a third of this over the top, spreading it out. 
if you wanted to, you could do the same style of recipe and instead of cooking a slow cooked meat sauce, you could do a ratatouille to make this not only gluten free, but a really lovely vegetarian style lasagna. And then just press it down. So again, we're trying to build a perfectly even layer each time. Now for some extra cheese, sprinkling of Parmesan, just lightly and some buffalo mozzarella balls. I'll just break that up and just add a little bit of that. I'm not adding any white sauce because I think the polenta is creamy enough. The cheese as a third filling is just perfect. Now I'm going to continue the layers until it's completely full. I'll add a little bit more of the cheese and this goes into the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's really golden brown at 180 degrees. Okay, this lasagna has come out of the oven. It smells delicious. Look how crispy and golden it is on the top. Now, you need to let this rest. There's nothing worse than scooping into a lasagna with those classic lasagna sheets or a polenta lasagna without it resting because it's too hot, which means it will be sloppy. So let it rest for about 20 minutes. I promise you it will stay nice and warm and then serve it. Now I would serve this lasagna in the middle of the table, nice big spoon, a really crispy salad to go with it because it's quite filling with the polenta. This right here is a great alternative to the classic lasagna.